We shall be known by the company we keep, by the ones who circle round to tend these fires. We shall be known by the ones who sow and reap the seeds of change alive from deep within the earth. It is time now, it is time now that we thrive. It is time we lead ourselves into the well. It is time now, and what a time to be alive. In this great turning we shall learn to lead in love. In this great turning we shall learn to lead in love. Good morning, my friends. So glad to have you here with me. And today is another terrific sunny day. You could probably see the sunlight coming in this morning. And that means another great day for getting outside to do the things that you love to do. Play some soccer, kick the ball around, play some basketball, ride your bike, go for a walk, sit sit on a on a, a blanket in the middle of the grass and just enjoy the sunlight whatever you enjoy doing. So proud to be Canadian. I'm, I love looking at this picture of Canada. It's called Our Home and Native Land, created by Jennifer Adomiet from Smithers, BC. For me, it really tells me the story of the three indigenous groups in Canada, the Inuit, the First Nation, and the Métis. I'd like to begin by acknowledging that we are hosted on the land of the Mississaugas of the Anishinaabe, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, and the Wendat. And here in Pefferlaw, where I live, I walk the sacred land of the Chippewa and Ojibwe. We also recognize the enduring presence of all First Nation, Métis, and Inuit people. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. <clears throat> There's Sophia and Vanny and Angela and Perdihi. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. There's Sandy and Ashraf and Jake and Ken. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. It's true. The more times that you can spend time with other people, get together, get together online during our virtual class, tends to make us happy inside when we get together. Let's wake up our hands first this morning. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Two, one. Two, one. 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 Give yourself a pat on the back for that one. I'm going to shake. My sillies out, shake, shake, shake my sillies out, shake, shake, shake my sillies out, wiggle my woggles away. Wiggle my woggles away. I'm gonna shake, shake, shake my sillies out, shake, shake, shake my sillies out, shake, shake, shake my sillies out, wiggle my woggles away. I'm gonna stretch, stretch, stretch my sillies out, stretch, stretch, stretch my sillies out, stretch, stretch, stretch my sillies out, wiggle my woggles away, stretch out. 
I'm going to stretch, stretch, stretch my sillies out. Stretch, stretch, stretch my sillies out. Stretch, stretch, stretch my sillies out. Wiggle my woggles away. Tap your leg. We're going to tap, tap, tap your sillies out. Tap, tap. Tap your sillies out. Tap, tap, tap your sillies out. Wiggle your woggles away. We're going to clap, clap, clap your sillies out. Clap, clap, clap your sillies out. Clap, clap, clap your sillies out. Wiggle your woggles away. Let's get my drum out again because I always like the sound of that one. <clears throat> oh, lay. Faster. Stretch it up. We will, we will rock you. Rock you. Tap your legs. We will, we will rock you. We will, we will rock you. Good for you. How about, I love the feeling of joy inside of me or happiness inside of me. <clears throat> I've got that joy, joy, joy way down in my heart. Down in my heart. Down in my heart. I've got that joy, joy, joy way down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay. Love. I've got cart apparently according to that song i've got my friends 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 way down in my heart down in my heart down in my heart i've got my friends 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 way down in my heart down in my heart to stay family i've got my family 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 way better does it get than that eh you've got joy love friends and family that's beautiful I want to show you a chart that I started to show you yesterday about manners being kind to other people but it's more than just being kind 
it's thinking of ways that you can be polite to someone else. Manners. <clears throat> we say thank you. We say please. We don't interrupt and we don't tease. Good for you. We don't argue. We don't fuss. We listen when people talk to us. Indeed, it's your turn to listen. We share our things and we take our turns. Good manners aren't too hard to learn. It's really easy when you find good manners mean just being kind. It's true. Kindness goes a long way, my friend. I think that kindness and manners are very closely linked because they're the same principles. And I'm going to show you as I go through this book, the kindness book. Not only are these nice things to be kind, but they're nice manners to have too. What is kindness? Kindness is thinking about people's feelings and helping them to feel good. So when you wanna think about what you're saying or doing to make someone else feel good. Being kind makes you feel good also. For example, kindness is reading a book to someone. How sweet is that? Going to visit someone and reading a book to them? Kindness is taking care of your community taking care of the pets, donating treats, donating to the food bank, offering up clothes or toys or books that you don't need anymore. Kindness is holding the door for someone else. It's so true. If you're going into a grocery store, a shop, a restaurant, a coffee shop, Hold the door for someone else. Kindness is listening. That's really important because really, only one person can talk at a time. If you have more than that and everyone's talking at the same time, the words keep bumping into each other. So it's really important that one person speaks at a time and the others listen. Kindness is keeping others safe. So true. The police officers, the nurses, the doctors, the paramedics, the women and men who work in grocery stores right now and at fast food takeout places, they're all helping to keep us safe at our homes right now. Kindness is them working extra hours. Kindness is free. You don't have to pay any money. Good for you. It's free. You can do as much kindness as you want. Kindness is watching out for the people around you. It's true. Oh my goodness. This hippo stepped on the tail of a mouse. Ouch, says the mouse. Kindness is holding hands. Well, that's true under normal circumstances, but right now we're not really holding hands, touching hands, high-fiving anyone, perhaps just hugging your family that you're living with in your bubble. Kindness is being there when someone else needs you. It's true. When someone else is feeling sad or unwell, you could help them. And kindness is also taking care of yourself and getting a good night's sleep. It's true. 
In order to be good to others, you have to be good to yourself too. <clears throat> Kindness is helping things to grow. Right now, everyone's busy planting gardens and flowers and vegetables and fruits. And Kindness is saying something nice. Oh, I really like your hair. Oh, that shirt looks awesome on you today. Hey, I really like your new glasses. Saying something nice to someone else. This is really important. Kindness is not saying something that will hurt someone else's feelings. You don't want to tease other people. You don't want to say unkind things. You don't want to tease them about their glasses or their hair, their eye color, their ability, whether they're really good at something or not so good at something. Tease them about the color of their skin. The, that makes people feel really hurt inside. But kindness is also saying sorry. If you have made a mistake, my friends, and we make mistakes some, sometimes, it slips out. But you can always turn it around for yourself and say, oh, I'm so sorry. Be kind to yourself. Take care of your own self. Get lots of sleep and exercise and drink lots of water. Read books, do art, sing and play musical instruments. Thank you. Do the things that love that you love to do. And then you'll find that you're much kinder to others because you're feeling good and then you want to make others feel good. That's how kindness works. All my life's a circle, sunrise and sundown. The moon rose through the nighttime till the daybreak comes around. All my life's a circle, but I can't tell you why. The season's spinning round again. The years keep rolling by. It's true. Every year keeps rolling by. One more trip that the earth circles around the sun takes one year. And for example, let me get my picture here. This week we're celebrating Sophia's birthday. Sophia's having her birthday. One more trip around the sun. She's gone one more year on the planet Earth. One more trip around the sun and she's back to her birthday again. That's kind of a fun way to think about birthdays, isn't it? Let's go to our song sheets for a few more inspirations. Remember these from our classroom? Our song sheets? Waving flag, I like this one. When I get older, I will be stronger. They'll call me freedom, just like a waving flag. And wave your flag, wave your flag, and wave your flag, oh ho ho. When I get older, I will be stronger. They'll call me freedom, just like a waving flag. And wave your flag, and wave your flag, and wave your flag. Good for you. This is the way we clap our hands, clap our hands, clap our hands. This is the way we clap our hands early in the morning. This is the way we roll our arms, roll our arms, roll our arms. This is the way we roll our arms early in the morning. 
This is the way we stretch our arms, stretch our arms, stretch our arms. This is the way we stretch our arms early in the morning. Try it out in front. This is the way we stretch our arms, stretch our arms, stretch our arms. This is the way we stretch our arms early in the morning. Try this one. Pull your arm up. This is the way we stretch our arm. Stretch our arm. Stretch our arm. This is the way we stretch our arm early in the morning. One more arm. This is the way we stretch our arm. Stretch our arm. Stretch our arm. This is the way we stretch our arm early in the morning. Good for you. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes to two. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes to two. She'll be coming round the mountain. Coming round the mountain. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes to two. She'll be riding six white horses when she comes Hold back. Riding six white horses when she comes. Hold back. Riding six white horses. Riding six white horses. She'll be riding six white horses when she comes. Hold back. We'll all go out to meet her when she comes. Hi, babe. We'll all go out to meet her when she comes. Hi, babe. We'll all go out to meet her. We will all go out to meet her. We'll all go out to meet her when she comes. Hi, babe. Hold back. Toot, toot. We'll have a great big party when she comes. Yum, yum. We'll have a great big party when she comes. Yum, yum. We'll have a great big party. We'll have a great big party. We will have a great big party when she comes. Yum, yum. Hi, babe. Hold back. Toot, toot. She'll be wearing pink pajamas when she comes. Scratch, scratch. Wearing pink pajamas when she comes. Scratch, scratch. Wearing pink pajamas. Wearing pink pajamas. She'll be wearing pink pajamas when she comes. Scratch, scratch. Yum, yum. Hi, babe. Hold back. Toot, toot. Good for you. That, my friends, was a sequence. That was the order. This was first, toot, toot. Second, hold back. Third, hi, babe. Fourth, yum, yum. And fifth, scratch, scratch. That's the order. <clears throat> pizza Hut. The Pizza Hut store store a uh, song <clears throat> a pizza hut a pizza hut kentucky fried chicken and a pizza hut a pizza hut a pizza hut kentucky fried chicken and a pizza hut mcdonald's mcdonald's kentucky fried chicken and a pizza hut mcdonald's mcdonald's kentucky fried chicken and a pizza hut that's one of your favorites. All of you seem to love, love, love pizza. Let's do, um, oh boy. It's a little bit up and a little bit down. A little bit up and a little bit down. A little bit up and a little bit down. And that's what makes the world go round. Let's go faster. It's a little bit up and a little bit down. A little bit up and a little bit down. A little bit up and a little bit down. And that's what makes the world go round. Faster? We can do it. It's a little bit up and a little bit down. A little bit up and a little bit down. A little bit up and a little bit down. And that's what makes the world go round. Good for you. <clears throat> My Bonnie. 
in Scotland, my Bonnie, Bonnie is a woman, a lover of a man. And so my Bonnie, in this particular song, the woman goes away across the ocean. And the man is saying, oh, please, Bonnie, come back to me. So every time you hear the sound B, 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 I want you to stretch your arms up. My Bonnie lies over the ocean. My Bonnie lies over the sea. My Bonnie lies over the ocean. So bring back my Bonnie to me. Bring back, bring back, bring back my Bonnie to me, to me. Bring back, bring back, bring back my Bonnie to me. Now we're going out. My Bonnie lies over the ocean. My Bonnie lies over the sea. My Bonnie lies over the ocean. So bring back my Bonnie to me. Bring back, bring back, bring back my Bonnie to me, to me. Bring back, bring back, bring back my Bonnie to me. <clears throat> Good for you, my friends. Let's find another one. Here's something that we're going to be doing very soon because the war, the weather's getting warmer, warmer, warmer this week. And it's nice to think about going swimming. Sw swimming, swimming in my swimming pool when days are hot, when days are cold. In my swimming pool, breaststroke, side stroke, fancy diving too. Oh, don't you wish you never had anything else to do. It's true, I love swimming. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Keep on the sunny side, always on the sunny side. Keep on the sunny side of life. It will help you every day. It will help in every way. If you keep on the sunny side of life. Today we're going to do some more weaving. So let's sing. Weave, weave, weave me the sunshine out of the falling rain. Weave me the hope of a new tomorrow and fill my cup again. Weave, weave, weave. Good for you. All things on earth shall pass under the sky, but music alone shall live Music alone shall live, music alone shall live and ever die. Make music part of your day, my friends. Listen to music, dance to music, hum, whistle, sing, or just sit calmly. In meditation, sit calmly, listening to some music. Whatever works for you. Rainbow breathing. Let's get ready, my friends. Breathe it in. Hold it and out. Breathe it in. Hold it and out. in and out. Breathe it in and out. Breathe
move it in and out, breathe it in and out. Good for you. And this rainbow just reminded me about yesterday I was telling you that we have three primary colors. Red, yellow, and blue. And all other colors are made from combinations of combining red, yellow, and blue. So for example, if you mix red and yellow, you get orange. If you mix yellow and blue, you get green. And if you mix blue and red, you get purple. So I thought, let's give it a try today. Right here I have a paper plate. Just some old paper plates that we had at our house. We seem to collect some of this stuff in the summertime. People bring paper plates to my house. So first I'm going to mix Oh, my mother would not be happy with me using my teeth to open something. There we go. It's hard to get the plastic off. So the first thing I want to do is I want to mix some red with some yellow to try to get orange. So I've got my red and I've got my yellow. I'm mixing it together. I mix it around. I'm using one of these cotton swabs to mix it today. It's true. The more I mix it, Red and yellow makes orange. It makes a lovely orange color. That's cool. Let me try another one. The next one says yellow and blue make green. So I'm going to put a little bit of yellow. There we go. And a little bit of blue. And here we go again. These are really hard to open. My mother always told me not to use my teeth for opening things. I've got a little bit of blue. I'm going to add it to my yellow. There's a pretty color. And I want to see if yellow and blue make green. Oh, indeed. I'm mixing yellow and blue. And there it is. I see a green color. Okay? It's true what they say. Yellow plus blue equals green. Red plus yellow equals orange. Let's try one more. This one says blue plus red equals purple. Let's give it a try. A little bit of blue. There we go. A little bit of blue. And a little bit of red. There we go. And another cotton swab. Oops, here we go. There we go. Here comes red and blue mixed together makes purple. It's true, my favorite color, purple. 
little bit of red and a little bit of blue makes the color purple. Well, that's neat. That's interesting how we get colors. Interesting what I've got in my sensory box today. I can tell you it's something very soft. Oh, it's something, it's actually something white in color and soft. Something I used in the bathroom sometimes to, oh, take off some medicine, uh, some makeup maybe. These are called cotton swabs, cotton balls, I should say, cotton balls. And they're fun to play with. Just back practice squishing cotton balls. Anything that gets your hands squishing is a good activity because we want to strengthen your hands. Squish, squish, squish the cotton balls. Move them around in a bowl or a box. And then I'm going to take it to another level. I've got this old canister. I want you to practice putting lids on and off. And I want you to push, push the cotton balls in. Push, push. Squeeze as many cotton balls in there as you can. Push. I think we can get more in there. Squish, squish, and when it's all full, practice taking them out. Pull. You push to put it in, and you pull. Pull to take them out. Pull. Okay, I want you to practice those things at your house. Pulling activities and pushing activities are great activities for your heavy lifting. So for example, ample, push a wheelbarrow, push the grocery cart at the store, push a baby carriage if you're helping with the baby carriage, things that you can push. If you can do it, push the lawn more. It's really good for you. Pushing a wheelbarrow is particularly fun in your backyard. Picking up things and carrying it in a wheelbarrow, something you can push. You can also push up against a wall. Here's a wall, and I push just like this. Push your fingers up against the wall. Push, push, push up against the wall. And then you have to think of things that you can pull, like a rope. Maybe someone can help you. Pull a rope. Pull. Pull. Or pull the activities out of a jar. Pull them out. Pull. Or if you're working with dough in the kitchen to make bread or make cookies, pull the dough. Pull it. Maybe you're making a pizza and you need that dough. Pull the dough. And this is what I want you to be practicing at your house. All different sizes. I want you to practice small lids. Turn it, turn it, turn it. Take it off. Put it on. Turn it, turn it, turn it. And put it on. And then try a bigger size. Turn it. Turn it, turn it, take it off, turn it, turn it, turn it, put it back on. And maybe some little ones. This one's a little different. This is a vitamin container. So you flip, you flip it, and you push. Flip it, and you push. So practice with something like that. Here's a tiny juice one. Turn it, turn it, turn it. Take it off and put it on. There we 
go. So lots of jars, lots of containers at your house. Practice putting the lid on and off. On and off. Now, we're on to something else, my friends. I'm circling back to things that we've done at other times through the year. Patterns. So, for example, A, B, A, B, A, B is a pattern, and it goes like this. A, B, A, B, A, B is a pattern. It's a pattern of two. I could also make it a pattern of three. A, B, C, A, B, C. It keeps repeating itself. A, B, C. That's a pattern. So here's A, B, A, B, A, B. Pattern of two. Here's a pattern of three. A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C. Here's another interesting one. A, A, B, B. A, A, B, B. Let's try clapping to that one. A, A, B, B. A, A, B, B. That's the pattern. A, A, B, B, A, A, B, B. So, so I'm going to try all three of those patterns. A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C. That's with three. And now A, A, B, B, A, A, D, B. Now I'm going to get those paints again. Let me get the paints up. And let me see if I can make a pattern with this. I've got this purple. So I'm going to go purple. Actually, I'm going to add some blue to the green so that you can really see this, okay? Purple. And blue. Back to purple. Purple. Blue. A, B, A, B. Purple, blue, purple, blue, purple, blue. A, B, purple, blue, purple, blue, purple, blue. That's a pattern. I'm going to throw in one more color here. I'm going to use a little bit of orange. Purple, blue, orange. Purple, blue, orange. Purple, blue, orange. A, B, C. A, B, C. A, B, C. That's with three colors making a pattern as I make a mess of my hands. Okay, so that's a couple of things you can work on at your house. Here's something else you can do. Take a piece of paper and fold it in half. Fold it. And I put my finger here to stop the knife or the scissors from going all the way to the end of the paper. paper. And this time, instead of cutting a straight line, I'm going to make it a wiggly line. Wiggly line. Wiggly line. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle line. Wiggly line. So this time I made some wiggly lines to do some weaving. I think every day you should practice some weaving. 
over and under, over and under the next one. Just remember this tune. Over, under, over, under. Then we've got the first strip in. Let me get another color. How about purple, my favorite. <clears throat> the next one, I'm going to start with under first instead of over. Under, over, under, over, under, over. There we go. And this, because we made the lines squiggly, it makes a really interesting design. Let's try one more, pink. I'm gonna start with under, over, under. Sometimes it gets a little tricky, I have to tell you. Sometimes it gets tricky. I have to weave it through the paper. Under, over, under the paper, over the paper, under, there we go. And let's see how this one looks. And now you can see my design. A wiggly weaving design. So try that one at your house. So this Sunday, May 23rd, is World Turtle Day. Who would have thought they'd have a special day, but they do for turtles because we don't want people to treat turtles unkindly. So the first story I'm gonna tell you about is Tubby the Turtle. Tubby is a green turtle. She has a hard shell on her back. Where's my picture of my turtle? Here's a turtle. A hard shell on her back and look tubby has fins like this flippers that help her to swim in the water when she is scared she hides inside of her shell so her head and her flippers go inside of her shell Sometimes she swim, swims, and time, sometimes she takes a walk on the beach. So that's the thing about sea turtles. Sea turtles have flippers that help them to swim in the water, but they can also come up on the sand. It's true, they can use their flippers to come up on the shoreline. Whereas land turtles have claws on their, on their arms and legs. And so they can't really go in the water. They don't really go in water. They're land turtles, but this is a sea turtle. So as I mentioned, Tubby is a green turtle. She has a hard shell. And these, this part of the shell where it's all these interesting shapes, those are called the scoots. Scoots. When she's scared, she hides inside of her shell. Sometimes she swims, and sometimes she takes a walk on the beach. Tubby builds a nest in the sand, and that's where she lays her eggs every two or three years. Not every year every two or three years. 
So if you ever go to a beach and you see a turtle nest with eggs, don't touch them. Just leave them alone. In fact, if you see any nest with eggs, leave it alone because they're raising those eggs to turn into turtles. She loves to play with her cute little baby turtles when they hatch out of their eggs. So I learned a couple of things from that story. That turtles like to lay their eggs in the beach. So the first step is to lay the eggs in the beach. The second step, the eggs hatch and little tiny turtles come out of the egg. The little turtle is called a juvenile and the big adult turtle is called an adult turtle. So it, when it's this size, when it's smaller, it's called a juvenile turtle. So that's the sequence, my friends. That's the order. First they have little eggs, then the turtle hatches from the eggs, then the turtle is a juvenile turtle, a smaller turtle, and then it grows to an adult. And that's the cycle. Now, for the students who can print in their journal, I'd like you to stop the video and I want you to print some of these words so that you can learn some of these parts of a turtle. A front flipper, two front flippers, the rear flipper, two rear flippers, the shell on the back of the turtle, eyes, a nostril for breathing, and a mouth. And this part under the turtle is called the plastron. So take a moment and write those words in your journal. Or if you want, we could take it another step. I just need a pen. Okay, here we go. I've got a pen here. And we could try making a turtle. I'm going to follow these steps because I've never made a turtle before in my life. So I'm going to follow these steps and see if I can learn how to make a turtle myself. And you can practice this at your house if you have a piece of paper and a pencil or a pen. The first step is to start with an oval. And an oval looks something like that. It's not perfectly round. It's like an egg shape, an oval. And then they add one two ovals for the rear flippers and two more ovals for the front flippers. The front flippers help the turtle to swim in the water. So I've got two front flippers and two rear flippers and then I add a head. Hmm. And then I add a head. So I started with a big oval. Try that yourself. Two small ovals for the rear flippers, two bigger flippers at the front, and a head. Then you could, if you have at your house, if you have green markers, you could color it in with a green marker. I happen to have these cute little paint containers that I got. So I'm gonna paint mine in green. Now, turtles come in green and brown, and you know that in the ocean, some of them are blue. 
Typically the ones we see in Canada and North America, the ones that we see are typically on land and they're a combination of brown and green. There, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start by painting inside my flippers. So I've got two flippers at the front and two rear flippers. All these flippers help them to swim a sea turtle. A sea turtle lives in the ocean. A sea is another name for an ocean, okay? So these are sea turtles that we're painting today. Then I'm going to paint this roundish head looks like sort of a, almost like a circle I created for the head. Oops, I've never painted a turtle before. So I made a round head. And the last part, I get to fill in the oval with green. I'm going to use all this paint. I don't want to waste it. And for this, I go back and forth, back and forth to fill in my oval. This is when you can paint back and forth if you want. I often, when I'm painting, I like to go around the edge first and then I fill inside. Go around the edge. Go around the edge and then fill it in. And voila, there we go. A sea turtle. If you don't have paints, that's cool. Maybe you could color your turtle in with marker. And when it dries, I will add some features to that turtle. Yesterday I was telling you about an artist. His name is George Surratt. George Surratt. And I did that butterfly in the style of George Surratt. And his style is just to use little dots, dots, dots on his paper. It's called pointillism. And he just puts all the little tiny dots so if you go up close, you can see all the dots, blue and brown for the hair. But then when you're far away, it just looks like a painting. You don't see the little dots up close. You could probably see that butterfly. It just looks like a butterfly. But if you go up close, you'll probably see all the little dots, dots, dots that I did on that painting. I was trying to do a Surat painting with all the little dots. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and today is Tuesday. Good for you. If today is Tuesday, tomorrow will be Wednesday. You're right. And yesterday's gone by. Yesterday was a sunny Monday. Good for you, Monday. And the month is May. January, February, March, and April. May, June, July, and August. September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Today is Tuesday, May 18, 2021. So I've got 18 
zebra on my calendar. But instead of just counting to 18, I really want you to think about what are the ordinal numbers? What are the order? What is the order of those numbers? Not just counting one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way to 18. But let's try first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth. 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th. Good for you. Today is Tuesday, May 18th. Sometimes we use ordinal numbers. For example, if you watch the Blue Jays play baseball, they run to first base, they run to second base, they run to third. And then they go home. That's the sequence or the order. First, second, third base, home. If you're in a running race, come, someone comes in first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. When we're lining up to go to the cafeteria, someone stands first in line, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. That's the order. I think you're getting it. I think you're getting that idea of ordinal numbers. Things are in order. Things are in sequence. Just like the sequence of that turtle. It started as an egg, then it cracked open the egg, then it became a juvenile turtle, and then it became an adult turtle. Now I wanna circle back to this picture. This is what I was just telling you of the sequence, the life cycle of a turtle. It starts as an egg, and then it hatches out of the egg. Then it becomes a juvenile. And then it becomes an adult turtle. And you can always tell the sea turtles because see how they have their fins? I'm gonna show you my other picture of turtles. Let me find it first. Oh, here it is. So these are sea turtles, and you can tell they're sea turtles because they all have their flippers that help them swim in the ocean, in the sea. It also helps them to crawl up on the sand. And, and in this picture, you can tell that there's all different types of sea turtles. I see green, I see brown, I even see a blue one called a leatherback, a leatherback turtle, a flatback turtle, this fancy one. Some of them even have sort of a black color. That's really pretty. Now, if you think about the kinds of turtles we have on land, you're going to see that their flippers are not really flippers anymore. They have claws, hands and feet that are claws that help them to move in the woods, on grass, on different kinds of terrain that might be rocky or might be um, full of, of uh, twigs and grass and leaves. And so they have sharp claws on the ends of their feet and hands. But sea turtles have flippers. You can see the difference. Sea turtles have flippers and land turtles have claws. Okay, so that's kind of interesting. 
Now, the last thing I want to say is for the people who wrote these words in their journal, if you want to put the words on the turtle that we made, that would be cool too. Flippers, the four flippers, head, shell. You can add those words to your turtle if you want, okay? Such a cute animal. It's a shame. The story is that I think these turtles are being treated unkindly or people are capturing the turtles particularly sea turtles and they want the shell of the turtle and they also want turtle meat so they capture them and so the number of sea turtles is really going down 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 and we don't want them to all be captured like that we want them to live freely finish with a little story about sea turtles. Sea turtles are reptiles like snakes and frogs. Sea turtles are cold-blooded. We have warm blood in human and humans but sea turtles have cold blood. There are so many different kinds of sea turtles with different sizes and shapes. Some sea turtles have four flippers and some sea turtles have four webbed feet. Sea turtles don't have any teeth, no teeth in their mouth. They use their mouth to gobble their food. Sea turtles have a hard body shell and there are so many different types of sea turtles that live in the oceans but they don't live in fresh water like Lake Simcoe or Lake Ontario, lakes and rivers around us. Sea turtles only live in an ocean. Sea turtles can dive underwater for about five to 40 minutes. Wow, that's a long time holding their breath underwater. I, I know that when I'm swimming, I can probably swim one length from the shallow end to the deep end underwater, and that's it. But there's no way I could stay underwater for 40 minutes but a turtle can. There are so many turtles that have different types of skin and shell colors. Some are green, some are brown, some are gray. And sea turtles like to sleep four to seven hours underwater. That's where they go to sleep, underwater. but they must have their head out in some way. I have to learn about that. Sea turtles are very good swimmers. And they can see under the water, they can see where they're going. So cool to look at these different creatures that we have. Friends, I will remember you. I'll think of you. I'll play with you. And when another day is through, I'll still be friends with you. Goodbye, my friends. Get outside today. It's beautiful out there and create joy.